anything's possible. It just, yeah, like, like I said, there's ups and downs, trial and errors. But at the end, if you, you know, if you really believe, you, you achieve. will achieve. It sounds corny, but it's true. <laughs> it works. Right? Trust it really me. is true. Yo, Yo, I'm Mark, one half of the B Demons. And I'm Chris, and I'm the other half of B Demons. And we're from Austin, Texas. If you don't know who we are, multi platinum producers. We work with Bad Bunny, Bratiago, 6 9 Tink, Money Man, Bobby Shmurda. List goes on. <laughs> many more. Many, many more. more. Top sellers on B Stars. And yeah, man, we in that thing. I personally feel like the thing we've learned the most is definitely the experience of yeah. being in the studio with the artist and actually, you know, the vibe, like it is crazy, it's like totally different from like selling beats online. Everything is different and I feel like that whole atmosphere as a whole helps it. Yeah, it is way different from like being in you know, in a bedroom studio versus being in the studio with the artist. Cause you know, at first I've always been like self-conscious, but being a, in the studio with an artist and seeing them vibe out to your beats is like a whole new level. You just like, yeah. oh shit, we got this shit on lock. You know? it, it, it feels rewarding. And I think that's the most, you know, one of the things that we appreciate the most. I just feel like we're able to help create our vision with our beats. Yeah. So we're able to push the record or, you know, share our feedback on how to, like what we think with that specific beat to make an even better record and uh yeah you know just being able to share that feedback with the artist i like to stay in the shell but being here is, is rewarding like you just gotta get out and do it you'll discover yourself you know facts and then personally i i've always been the type of person where i don't like to get too comfortable in certain situations so i'm always trying to push myself and sometimes i try to push him you know maybe a little too hard sometimes but it's just like you know get out there and try to, you know, keep evolving and elevating, you know, I feel like comfort is dangerous. So it is dangerous. my advice would be don't get comfortable, step outside the box and, you know, don't be afraid to speak up, man. Yeah, just, just do it, you know, and have fun. Artists are just like us, you know, they, they want to interact with people and, you know, they, they fuck with the producers, man. So, you know, don't be afraid to speak up and give your feedback, you know, but some people are different, I will say that. So, yeah. you know, just play by ear, man, and just, you know, have fun with it. I personally will always feel not like I need to, but yeah. like I want to, yeah. you know what I mean? It's just, it's always been one of those things that we've always been accustomed to. And, you know, a lot of our success has been because of B-Stars and posting our beats online on social platforms and, you know, YouTube and stuff like that. So. It's kind of been our bread and butter, and I feel like that's what brought us to this position. So I would just say, if you feel like giving up or you don't want to do it no more, you know, it might just be a rough patch. We all yeah. go through the highs, we go through the lows. So it's just, you know. Yeah, and that's normal, you know, like yeah. just, just take a little break, you know, just take a week break and then just get back to it. This is a two man team. Facts. You know? He is a beast on the business side, you know, and, and the creative side. You know, I do the creative stuff too. <laughs> He's a beast. <laughs> You know, so I, I just feel like um, we're really blessed to have a two man team to right. handle both aspects. And yeah. I feel like it got where, where we're at now. Yeah. You know? We're one of those very rare cases of the, you know, yin and yang balance. We also have, you know, personal lives yeah. as well. So I think just finding balance and, uh, you know, setting up your foundation to, you know, kind of have all that stuff kind of streamlined and stuff like that. So, yeah. you know, as far as the back ends and the splits and stuff like that, just make sure you have, if you're selling beats online, have your information in the license agreements, you know, and BeatStars does a good job of having the, you know, producers have the license agreements already. And it's real simple to paste your information in there. And uh, yeah, and then of course, you know, we're with the Sony and B Stars. Every time we get a placement, we instantly let you guys know and y'all help us register our split. So it, it makes it a lot easier for us. Yeah. So we're thankful for that. We study the artists. I feel like being an online producer, you know, a lot of us are very versatile and yeah. we've learned the skills to be able to break down okay, what does this artist do that makes this artist 
them. What kind of BPM is the beat? Like, mm -hmm. they're most of their beats. So we'll scan through an album, their recent one, and be like, okay, it sounds like they're within this range to this range of BPM. Okay, what kind of scale? So, you know, we go down to every detail and I don't know if it's just me or I'm pretty sure it's a lot of producers, you know, in my mind, I'm able to kind of like hear their voice yeah. and how they like rap. So every time I'm making a beat, I already have, you know, the outline of, okay, it needs to be around this BPM, this scale, the drums got to bounce somewhat like this. And then I'll just, you know, go into my own world and create and uh, yeah, then next thing you know, we make a few beats show up and it seems like we always hit it on the nail i definitely think it's a cheat code yeah so uh sure. you know like mark was saying we're a, a two-man team so sometimes i'm really good at something and it's easy for me to make and then i'll show mark how to do it or you know kind of break it down and then there's sometimes where mark is the same way when it comes to a whole nother genre so we just feed off of each other's energy and I feel like that's how it makes it even easier for us to you know create different genres and not just be held to just one for me it's it's hard to tell I just probably it's because I'm looking from the inside out yeah but uh I don't know what it could be man I just like to have my beat hard like hard 808s I feel like us as a duo that's one thing we clarify with our beats is it's gonna knock yeah you know regardless so, and you know, part of the yin yang thing, you know, his specialty is mixing the beats. A lot of the stuff I've learned from, as far as mixing and stuff goes, has been from him. So, you know, Thank you. definitely a big part of how the, why the sound sounds a certain way. And uh, I don't know, maybe it's just, I don't know what we're doing, but <laughs> it's working. <laughs> it's, yeah, for real. So. Personally for me, it'll be a mixture like, okay, I don't know what to expect, but at the same time, I'm excited because I get to bring me, like my creativity to the table and, you know, and vibe out with the artists. I would say it's a mix of feelings, like, you know, excited, happy, but at the same time, it's just like, man, okay, like my mind starts just running, like, yeah. what do they want? So, you know, it just questions flood my brain, like, okay, what can I ask to kind of get a feel or a vibe or, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, it's definitely just a mix of emotions, but honored most of all. Manifestation, bro. I, I mean, we I feel like we've manifested it and you know, we've been hungry enough to be consistent. Yeah. So definitely I, I would just say consistency and you know, just being dedicated, man. Like at one point of my life it was just music, it was just all or nothing. It's just the passion for it, you know? Like, yeah. you know, I got a family, I got three kids, and you know, I've been doing this since I was 14. And I don't think I'll ever stop, honestly. Yeah. Regardless, like, it's just the passion for yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, for me, it's always been, uh, how you say it, like therapeutic. Yeah. But at, And then just part of who I am and just what I do, and it's just me. And of course, you know, I want to do it for, for my family as well, my, my little boy, so. And I enjoy seeing that, stuff that I've done make people happy. And, yeah. You know, a lot of people like the songs or, you know, it touches people's lives. And, you know, I never really realize it until somebody tells me and I'm like, oh shit, I didn't, I didn't know it had that impact it's or, definitely a you good know, feeling, man. so it just feels good. You know, love the feeling. Whew, man. We you know what? We're, we're gonna make an impact for sure. Yeah. A big impact, like. I mean, we're elevating. Yeah. I just elevating and uh, like I said, I don't like to be comfortable. I feel like we're trying to push the boundaries of artist, producer, you know, and just seeing where it goes, man. So trying to make more hits and make more good music that people get touched by. Yeah.